This is my rock cutting equipment. Most of it's pretty do it yourself. Some rocks that will be future cutters. Cut them into slabs, cut them into slices. Just sometimes to see what's in them. slabs I recently cut, some little chunks I like to uh, grind down into little cabochons and other little shapes I like to make. My buffer which is going to get uh, changed, it's just a Harbor Freight tool buffer, it goes way too fast, I made a leather wheel for it, I'll be changing that to a uh, treadmill engine with a variable speed controller I'm going to be building. Anyway. So this is my wet saw for cutting slabs and just trimming stuff down. I built a big cabinet so I can contain the water here in my garage because I don't have running water out here. I have to bring it out in containers, which I have several containers I keep down here. Also by my tiny little wet trim saw for doing smaller, tiny stuff. Anyway, that's water supply is right here. It's an old laundry soap container. It's similar to this guy. I just put a hinge on it so it can open and close and fill up with water from back here. I run a little hose down here. It goes down to a garden hose nozzle from the hardware store so I can adjust it to just put out a little bit of water as needed. It's hooked up to a wire up from the top with a light. My power supply for everything. It's my table. It's sitting in an aluminum tray that I got from a recycling bin. I put a drain plug from a sink in there with a little uh, drain spout. It goes down underneath so I can put a bucket underneath here and open it up and drain out the water as needed. I'm not running a backing plate on it. I'm running the saw in reverse for just so I can run bigger stuff. And when I do videos and things, you can see what I'm doing over my shoulder. So it gets quite messy. Built my lower shelf down there. Door, keeping all my supplies, water, throw away as bricks for sharpening my blades. It's my little buffing wheel I got through uh, Harbor Freight. It's kind of cool. I built a little stand for, or I got a stand for it from Harbor Freight Tools, but I mounted it to the stand and I, I built a tray for holding the water And I built a tray for holding the Dremel tool and and the extra parts in case you want to carve something. But yeah, the little buffer's pretty cool. It works with these little buffing Velcro pads. There's various grits starting with 80 going up to 1200 or something of that sort. And I got two sides so as I go through I can switch over grades of grit but it just velcros on there it spins it's variable speed so I can adjust the speed and you can just sit here and dip your rocks and water and surface them actually and polish them all the way out to a pretty good buff to a good uh, polish believe it or not but uh, to go further again I need to replace the buffing wheel over there with an actual nicer setup These are my extra blades for my surfacer I built. And this is my do-it-yourself surfacer. So it's working with a treadmill motor, an electric treadmill motor from a Nordic Track treadmill hidden away up in there.
can change out the discs as I need from grades of whatever uh, grade I need. Um, it's pretty much I used a, uh, a angel food cake pan for the uh, water collector underneath. And I got a hole down there and it's sealed shut so it can hold water and then drains out below into a bucket or into a, uh, a tea container. Got some extra water here to fill up as needed. Again, I don't have running water out here in the garage, so my water supply happens to be another brand of tea, but another tea container. Apparently we're tea drinkers. I could open the top of it, put a couple rivets in it just to stop stuff from getting in there. The Velcro it on so I can change it if I need to. <clears throat> I just used some tubing from a fish tank that we have and I bought some little valves off of Amazon along with most of the discs and a few other things including an arbor to fit the treadmill motor on Amazon. <clears throat> You're welcome Amazon. And then I used a, uh, an old computer su uh, power supply box. I gutted it out and uh, put what I needed in there. So it's pretty cool. And I bought a, a speed control for it off of eBay so I can run the treadmill motor at variable speeds as I please. This is on off switch. I usually just keep it all the way down because there's really no need to go any faster than this, but it is capable of it's capable of hitting some RPMs. But just as a nice slow RPM, the water dropping, it works excellent. Turn that off so I can hear it. For my light source, I just had found a uh, metal bar that was hollow. Mounted a light to it, hid the wire inside, and then just salvaged the lamp. That's my light source. I'll share videos of running this and making some cabs with it as I go through the grades of uh, sand, paper, uh, diamond discs and then this over here, here let me turn off this light this over here is my electroforming stand uh, I plan on doing some electroforming of a lot of the a lot of the uh, rocks I'm gonna turn them into jewelry and just pieces of art and whatnot uh, it's basically it's for copper electroforming which is pretty much growing copper in a uh, solution. The solution in here is pretty full. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's a uh, very blue Kool-Aid looking type solution. Pretty much root killer with uh, with copper in it already, and then uh, you use you electrify it and add a uh, you add copper to the to the solution, and then it helps transfer it and grows it through the solution. Um, I'm not very good at explaining it, I'll be honest, but it's cool. You can uh, pretty much paint graphite around a rock and then dip it in the solution and it grows copper where the graphite was and replaces it. You can grow it thicker or thinner and you can add little rings and other things to it to make it so you can make a hanging medallion or a pendant or an earring or something. Uh, really good for art. It's cool. But anyway, so 
Uh, these are my tanks pretty much for running the electroforming solution. They're just simply a copy container with a little clip sitting on it. You'll run a wire through there and then you'll run run your piece of copper down there with your negative side hooked up to that and full of solution with your object touching this for contact and then dipped in the solution and it grows copper around it and then this is my power supply and obviously none of it's running right now but when it's running I'll share videos of it and then for this year, coming up for Halloween, I'm going to do something a little special. I made a special little section on here so I can do uh, copper electroformed wands. Magic wands. Ooh. That'll be pretty interesting. I'm going to dip them in, uh, I'll dip them in uh, graphite solution and paint them, add some jewels and copper electroformed copper over the top of a stick pretty much with jewels sticking out of it just to make something neat for a few select people sell a few or whatnot yeah so this is my do-it-yourself rock working stations and art just thought i'd share this with you thank you